Well, from baking bread to a focus on breakfast, cooking at home was a routine for many or has become a routine for many during the pandemic. Tierra Newbaum's live at Wheatsville with a look at some of the 2021 food trends this morning. Morning, Tierra. Good morning to you, Dave. Yeah, we've been talking about some different trends this morning, Nick, and uh, we mentioned portobello mushrooms, some plant-based um, alternatives are going to be super popular this year, getting some good protein there. And uh, we have a beautiful spread here, so let's keep moving on and talk about this. So charcuterie boards, we saw those everywhere in yeah. 2020. What's going to happen this year? I think the trend's going to continue. So what we decided to do uh, was we wanted to give people that were maybe transitioning over to a plant-based diet, uh, we wanted to let them know that Wheatsville is a great place to do that. Yeah. And so this is an all-plant-based vegan uh, charcuterie board. We've got vegan cheeses, a cheddar spread from Miyoko's. We have our house-made blue cheese uh, dressing for dipping the popcorn tofu. And then beautiful uh, pickled okra here. Uh, and we also have a, our own house. Our, we've made these pickles here just anyone. A little bit ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, you guys uh, are making, or we can, people can make these at home. What's the best way to do that? Yeah, it's really easy. These are quick pickles. You just cut up a, a cucumber. Generally about half a cucumber will fit in there. You add some warmed uh, white vinegar. Some people use apple cider vinegar, a little salt, and then the spices that you like. We sell a um, bulk uh, pickling spice mix oh, that's um, nice. and you can use that or you can use your own we use some dill for ours and then we just threw in big fat chunks of garlic I think you can see them in there okay how long does someone have to let this set for it's generally 24 hours and we just chill it in the refrigerator but that's been sitting for two days so I'm really excited okay easy enough so fermenting is going to be pretty popular this year as well and you guys even have some pre-made products that are like fermented over there what are those absolutely so this is the okra and the carrots that you're gonna see in okay Barrel Creek uh, I believe is from Austin even. So, awesome. Um, we try to keep things as local as possible. Uh, we've got the okra here and the carrots, so they're just easy to throw on your charcuterie board. Okay, so that's a plant-based one. We're tacking charcuterie boards to the next level is yep. what we're going to be seeing all over the place. So I've started working on this breakfast so beautiful. <laughs> platter here. I'm going to finish it up. What are some tips and tricks for um, making these things fun? Well, I think yours exemplifies fun. Look at that. It's uh, unique ingredients. We have our classic vegan donuts here. Uh, you can give this donut to anybody, vegan or not, and they will be so happy. We have some of our house uh, blended granolas that you've added. We have fresh cut fruit that we always have in stock. You can find that in our produce section. Uh, donut holes that we make here. Fresh this, nut butters. This has been so fun. I just kind of browsed the store and you guys have stuff already made to just throw on here. I would say my biggest tip is just have fun with it. There's no wrong way to set this. Like, like I don't isn't. like this donut right here, so I'm just gonna move it. Like, like there's no wrong gorgeous. way. That's and, gorgeous. And also it's like, be messy, it's fine. I love that. Okay, and then real quick, hard kombuchas are popular. So for people who are not familiar with kombucha, what exactly is the hard kombucha? It's a Well, it's a fermented drink. It's a fermented tea that is uh, kombucha, and this is just extra fermented, so it's got a nice little kick. Uh, some people uh, enjoy it for its probiotic. Uh, Absolutely. So some health benefits along with a little <laughs> cocktail there. I like we'll that. Talk, we'll talk more about the cocktail part. <laughs> okay. So you can have that. And then we talked earlier about sauces and spices being a big hit because we don't want anything to get bland in the kitchen this year. Nick, thanks so much for Absolutely. your time today. Thank you for coming. If you want more information on Wheatsville, wheatsville.coop. And uh, cheers to good health and delicious food in 2021. Dave, we'll send it back to you. Absolutely. Tiara, thank you very much. We appreciate it.